Generation X is sick of your bull. Editing Iggy here. I just realized that my dumbass climax forgot to use the headphones <laughs> when recording that video. So guess what? The sound's all fucked up. But you know what? The hell with it. The hell with it. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds like shit. That's my fault. My bad. Sorry. See, my bad does not equal I'm sorry. What, Max? What you want, baby? I would pick the camera up, but it'll go fucking goofy on me. And I don't dare pick Max up, because I am not in the mood to go to the emergency room tonight. Because we don't have Mercurochrome anymore. <laughs> and I don't think I got enough band-aids for what he would do to me. So, there's that. But anyway, I apologize for the sound quality of this one. I'll do better next time. Peace. Okay, here we go. First reaction since I got back from uh, MAGFest. <clears throat> In fact, I literally just recorded my uh, Mag my, my post-MAGFest uh, video. Yeah, my throat's all fucked up. But... I want to do this one because it's the myths that Gen X spread. And the funny thing is, yeah, we did we did spread a lot of fucking rumors and myths and whatnot. But what the fuck? We didn't know. The shit just spread like wildfire. We were kids at the time. This was the 1970s, I'm willing to bet. So let's go ahead and run this. Those of us who grew up in Generation X and before, we did not need the internet to spread false information. <laughs> it was all done by word of mouth. In the same token, we did not have the internet to research this on our own. That's key right there. believed in these myths as truth, but since that time, we have realized that they are false. In this video, we will have a look back on some of the myths that we believed as a Gen Xer. Kids from Generation X love trick-or-treating and everything Halloween. But this sacred holiday for kids wasn't without its own crazy rumors. Do you remember the panic over candy and apples having razor blades and needles in them? Matter of fact, yes, I do. And you know what? I think we found out later on that that was just the excuse that uh, the parental units would use to go rifle your candy first. Oh, hi, Sneaky. Come on up. Come on up. We just had a guest star enter. Oh, come here, you. Don't hand me your shit. Get up here. Lord. Sneaky. <laughs> oh, here comes Felix. Well, guess what? You're coming up, too. This is Felix. He's a little troublemaker. Oh boy. That made me go. Get your butt out of the camera. I oh, come on. Come on, Felix, go. Damn it. The things you do. I may have to edit that part out. <laughs> Alright, but let's see let's see what he had to say about this. We all heard that, but yet we never saw it. Another rumor that you probably believed in is how the local hospital would x-ray your candy to ensure that it was needle and razor blade free. That's true, we did, did hear about that. Out there actually have that done? No. Razor blades made the way into another urban legend, and some kids were truly terrified by this one. Remember hearing about blades being placed on water slides so that they would cut you off? As a matter of fact, I did remember hearing that one. Placed on the slide, wedged in the cracks, or stuck on there with gum or putty. It may be laughable now, but there really was a time period where the satanic panic had gripped the nation. And this true. Was especially true in the 1980s. That's very true. Um, we actually had. Um, Dungeons and Dragons banned in our school. We weren't allowed to play it after school. We could play other role-playing games like superhero stuff or Indiana Jones or, you know, that kind of shit. Even some horror genre stuff, you know, role-playing. 
Dungeons and Dragons? Nope. Uh uh. Nope, 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 nope. Stupid is what it was. There were all sorts of rumors about Satanists that lived out in the woods or in an abandoned house that were sacrificing animals. Police and kids. everywhere even believed in these happenings. And any time that we saw a pentagram, we instantly became horrified. Nope. But the truth is that rarely, if ever, happened. However, this same sort of panic carried over... Oh, Phil, let's be quiet. Churches would play records backwards so that you could hear these satanic messages and they would warn kids the dangers of listening to certain rock and heavy metal bands. That's true. Kids that is absolutely one true. Of those many targets. And remember what their name supposedly stood for? Nice and Satan service. That's exactly what they, they thought it was. I bet you either heard kids in Satan's service or knights in Satan's service. The band ACDC also had rumors that it stood for After Christ, Devil Comes, or Antichrist, Devil's Children. Gene Simmons from the band Kiss was also involved in another crazy rumor. In the tongue. They, they, the, the rumor was, and I, he's, I'm going to say it before he, get, before he gets to it, just to prove I'm not bullshitting, that he had a horse's tongue surgically implanted in his mouth. We were told that he had a cow's tongue that was grafted onto his own. And how about that Bloody Mary rumor? Uh, hey, look, we we got a third visitor. My boy, Roman. <laughs> oh, shit. Now I may have to only uh, cut part of that out. <laughs> Hi, Roro. <coughs> oh, and Felix is now behind the monitor. Somehow this was supposed to summon her from hell, and Kids were rumored to be found dead after seeing her appear in the mirror. Yep. Some of the rumors that we heard about cars were frightening, while others were not. We just believed in them either way. We were told not to flash our headlights at cars driving down the road at night with no lights on. If we did, then this was some sort of gang initiation and we would be killed. And how many times were you told that it was illegal to drive down the road at night? Now that headlights thing, I've heard that again recently. Like within the last two years. So yeah, apparently that one's going back around. With the interior lights on. Actually, that is bad to do because it does cut down your visibility outside the, you know, the, the windscreen. So, yeah, that's it's not a good idea to do it. It may not be illegal to do it, but it's definitely not a good idea to. Products had their own rumors, and we believed them to be true. You know, if you swallow gum, your body can't digest it for seven years. Yeah, we heard that one. Dead years ago with as much gum as I swallowed in school. <laughs> Another... Yeah, because if, if you didn't have enough for everybody in the class... They, they make you take it out and put it on your nose. Yeah, that happened. And a lot of kids would end up swallowing it to prevent doing that. The one concerning gum was about bubble yum. Supposedly, it was only soft because it was made out of spider eggs. Oh, I didn't hear that so one. Big that the company even took out an ad to try to dispel it. And how many of us tried to look for a Native American shooting a star on a Tootsie Pop wrapper? If you found one, then supposedly you would get a lifetime supply of them. No, I never heard that one. found these and tried to redeem them at stores. Usually the clerk would give you a free one just to get you to shut up and get out of the store. <laughs> this never was really a thing. Another interesting tale involved the dot candies that you took oh, off. God, they were supposed to be laced with LSD. All right, now that one I never heard, but my problem with, with this candy is you could never get it off without bringing a piece of paper with it, and that was just nasty. I loved the candy, I'm not going to lie. I absolutely loved the candy, so I ate a lot of fucking paper when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, but, you know, there's, there's well, it, it never had LSD in it. Oh, God, I wonder if he's going to get to the green M&M's. At least that's what kids spread. Speaking of LSD, <laughs> if you used it seven times, then you would legally be insane. Remember Mikey from the Life Serial? Now, Party? this one I heard. Well, he's alive and well today. But... And honestly, I believed it because I never saw him in another commercial. <laughs> Me 
many of us believed that he had died from consuming pop rice <coughs> and Coca-Cola. Yep. The rumor was that his stomach exploded from the combination, and that was the end of him. If you ever watched the show Mythbusters, then you probably already know that this myth is not true. Coke was also involved in another rumor that we believe to be true. If you had a spare tooth laying around, then you could drop it in a glass of Coca-Cola, and by morning time, it would be completely dissolved. Now, I never heard that one. I don't ever recall hearing that one. But one, one I can tell you is true. Um, if you, if you, your car battery, if it, if it got like corrosion around the connections, you can pour coconut and make that shit vanish. That actually works. Life hack from Iggy. It seemed like there was always a healthy dose of rumors going around about famous people. Some of them I gotta redo my nails and various other gross acts that we won't go into on here, but yeah, we we definitely heard about all of those, and we were like, "What the hell, man?" <laughs> What the hell? A couple of them you may remember hearing. <laughs> and, pardon, and no, I will not repeat them either because I don't want to get fucking blocked. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough, I swear, that, and, I'm, and I'm actually surprised I don't get nailed for that. But, I don't know. <laughs> YouTube, leave me the fuck alone. The reason why Mr. Rogers always wore long sleeves is because he had tattoos all over them was also a marine sniper in vietnam At i well i never got into mr rogers to be honest mr rogers and sesame street nope had not, nothing to do with that shit was just too straight laced for me i was into the weird shit and when i say i was into the weird shit uh if i haven't got a video up about it i might have to make one about 1970s children's programming that shit will warp your mind. Trust me. Roman, I'm not mad. It's, I'm not mad, baby. I'm not mad. It's okay. He gets a little weird when I do that kind of shit. Absolutely none of that was true. He was always just a minister with a successful kids show. Walt Disney was rumored to have his body frozen and he was awaiting a cure for cancer so that he could be brought back to life. Yeah, I heard that one. In reality, he was cremated. Some of the technology of the time period also had its share of rumors. Did you True. ever hear of people running into AIDS needles in the coin slots of payphones and soda machines? This particular room... Now, wait a minute. I actually did hear shit about that. Um... Not just needles. Well, in the seventies, it wasn't AIDS needles. It just AIDS wasn't around until the eighties. But I did hear about razor blades and pins in there. So, but I was always the I I was the I don't give a fuck type. If I get stuck, I get cut. I don't care. <laughs> Never happened to me, to be honest. Um, besides, I can just go on home. A little bit of chrome and a band-aid, back out to go. That's how we rolled back in the 70s, and that's no fucking joke. Rumor led to a lot of change being left in those. What about how you needed to stay six feet away from a running microwave, and if you did not, then you would become sterile? Heard that. How many times did your parents tell you to not sit so close to the toe? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, and we had shag carpeting, too, so... You know, you had to, like, wade your way through that fucking jungle just to get to the TV to change the channel. <laughs> I swear to God, it's true. That's absolutely 100% true. Yeah, don't sit so close to the TV. You'll, you'll, uh, some, some, it, it'll fuck your eyes up. And since I do wear glasses most of the time, there we go. Or you'll go blind. They also probably told you to not watch it without a light on. Yet, here that, we I didn't are, hear that we've one. had computer screens and phone screens crammed in front of our faces for decades. If you were a kid in the later part of the 80s, then I'm sure you thought that blowing into a Nintendo cartridge was necessary, but it was not. Actually, sometimes it was, but to be honest, yeah, there's, there's a caveat to doing that that we found out about much later. Um, by blowing your breath in, into it, even just to try and you know blow the dust off or or you know whatever, 
I found out that it was better to just use a pencil eraser and a cotton swab with alcohol on it. Um, that would clean the contacts perfectly and not shove extra moisture that could damage the circuitry. Really, it just needed a better connection. Acid rain was another thing that we were all supposed to be worried about. Yep. Would it melt you or just turn your hair green? <laughs> Who knows, but so far we're all doing good. Yep. Pool water had a rumor that I'm sure we have all heard. If you peed in the pool, then everyone would know because the water would change colors. I At some time or another, we probably all disproved that rumor. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Go ahead, Roman. Hop on up, babe. Oh, shit, I forgot to turn my love sign on. Getting senile. What was I talking about? Oh, the, yeah, the pee in the pool. Yeah, we pretty much disproved that one real fucking quick. Dungeons and Dragons became pretty popular to play, but the rumor was that it could make you possessed if you played it. But one of the funniest rumors that we all heard in America was how black belts and karate had to register their hands with the police departments as deadly weapons. But not boxers or kung fu guys or any other type of martial artist. That one never made sense to me, but it went around like crazy. I didn't hear that one. Gen X kids have certainly seen their share of crazy rumors, and many of these myths were shared with our friends without even thinking about them. Yeah, because... What's interesting about these old myths is... You know, I mean, the thing about that was, and it, this is true even of, you know, kids today, you know, the younger you are, the more this applies. You know, they'll believe damn near anything you fucking tell them. Because they, they're trusting, they haven't learned yet that people spread bullshit. And, pardon, um, you know, we were the same way. We were no different. And I'm sure it was the same with the baby boomers and, you know, far back as you want to go. This is how they keep coming back up. And from time to time, I still see them on Facebook. Yeah. The good thing is, now we have a computer to research it on our own before spreading it further. Except most people fucking don't. Do you remember any other crazy myths that That's you heard? pretty cool right there. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. Yeah. I love the fact that I'm a Gen Xer. I don't care if I turn 57 next month. You know, I, I, it's a badge of honor to live that long. Especially the habits that I have. I mean, Christ, I'm like a... Oh, how do I want to put this? I'm, I'm like the, uh, really still up there? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm like the, uh, the dirty laundry room at a convent. I'm full of bad habits. <laughs> dirty habits. Bad habits, however you want to put it. But yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's just how we rolled back then, you know? It, Anyway, I hope I hope you enjoyed. Have, either have a nice day or at least have the kind of day you deserve. Peace.